Right. Well, hopefully the commute will get a little easier for thousands of drivers in the Bay Area who take 101 for their commute. Joining us right now uh, is Sam Trans Communications Manager Tasha Bartholomew. And good morning. So, what are some of the goals of this project, and what agencies uh, were involved to make this happen? Yeah, I mean, really the key, um, you know, benefits of this project is we were really looking to reduce you know, congestion on the corridor. I think as many people know who've taken, you know, Highway 101, it's been a really busy corridor over the years. And so, you know, we had to think of something uh, in order to make sure uh, that we can try and reduce traffic, um, increase person throughput. Um, it's really also about, and I think this was mentioned that, you know, we want to encourage carpooling and transit use and improve travel time on uh, one of our busiest highways uh, in the peninsula. And, you know, I think so people can get used to this. Just kind of remind us and break down. You can use the fast track lanes if it's three or more drivers, but then there's, it changes if you have two or less or if you're a solo driver. So kind of break that down a little bit. Yeah, that's correct. Um, if you have three or more people um, inside the vehicle or van, um, then using the express lanes is free. Um, but anyone can really use it. Um, we encourage multiple people to use it. Um, but, you know, if you have a clean air vehicle, then whatever the pricing is at the time is half off. Um, if you're a solo driver that chooses to use it, then you're going to be paying the full price. But what I would like to remind um, people out there is that they have to have the fast track uh, toll tag, um, but it has to be the flex just so that, you know, they can switch um, from how many people are inside the car so that they have the correct pricing. Okay, so how do you do that, the fast track flex? How do you switch that? Uh, there's a little switch that's um, so it's a little it's a little transponder and there's a switch that says one two or three plus people so you know if um, if it's myself and you and one other person riding in the car then we click it to number three and if it's just myself I make sure that it's at number one but you always have to make sure that you you know have it on the uh, correct number depending on how many you know people are inside or occupying the car. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Thank you for pointing that out. And one uh, real quick question as well. Um, you know, how do you hope that fast track and doing this is going to help that area for the commuter? I know we talked about ride share, but also having those decals too, if you have an e vehicle. What's kind of the overall picture? Um, you know, well, we're hoping, you know, again, we're always encouraging or hoping that, you know, more people ride in their car together so that we get less cars off the road. But then we're just hoping also, too, that, you know, if it is a solo driver or, you know, multiple drivers, that, you know, there is that option. I think I want to make sure that I stress that using the express lanes um, is an option. Um, you know, it's not mandatory, but, you know, it is a way to try to keep the traffic flowing. But I did want to mention one thing, if, if that's okay. Is that um, you know some of the the uh, the toll that's going to be collected uh, from the express lanes is going to go back into the community um, as part of a transportation benefits program. So um, it basically helps uh, low income individuals um, by providing them with a hundred dollar transit credit um, on a Clipper card if they don't have a vehicle or a $100 uh, toll credit on a fast track uh, transponder if they do have a vehicle. We are partnering uh, with a nonprofit organization called Samaritan House, um, which you know helps uh, provide free services to low income individuals in San Mateo County. And so this is the first time that um, that organization has um, ever had any sort of transportation benefit. So, you know, again, with some of the tolling uh, money that's gonna be collected, of course, that we have to use, you know, to maintain the lanes, but some of that money is going to be going back into the community to help uh, uh, low-income individuals, um, you know, uh, get around uh, in the peninsula. With their commute. Tasha, I'm so glad you mentioned that. Thank you so much. All right. And thank you for all that information. I know drivers are going to have to get used to the changes. We appreciate getting up early uh, this morning with us. No all problem. Right.